Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. Justin and I have a great video for you guys today. Actually, two videos. There we go. That was so cool though. We're gonna split this up into two parts. Ah, we don't wanna make like this 25 minute video, so we're gonna split this up into two parts. Well, here's what we got for you guys. We got these mini shields. We got the RTS mini shield here, which is made out of steel. And we got the BAM mini shield here that's made out of like a Kevlar. Now, both of these are level 3A+, plus, but I'm thinking this one's gonna be a lot better than this one here. So what we wanted to do, we wanted to do something different. Now, again, there's a lot of videos out there with these mini shields, and I've always wondered, well, what happens to your arm? What round is it gonna take to break your bones? So we got these awesome arms here from Ballistic Dummy Lab. Thank you, Chris and the girls for sending these out to us. These things are really cool. Now, we know that there would be bruising and all kinds of other stuff done to your arm, but we wanna see what it's gonna take to actually break your bone in there. A little bit on each one of these plates. All right, so on the RTS Tactical here, this one is made out of steel, the handle's steel. It comes with this really nice um, strap here for the forearm and it does uh, stretch. So you can adjust it to multiple sizes, very nice. Again, nice pad, the pad's about, geez, an inch thick. It's a harder pad, but it is comfortable and it does give you at least an inch between the shield and your arm where it's gonna rest. This one has a really nice quality laser engraved data tag down here so you can see any of the information. This one is special rifle rated rounds. So we are gonna try a couple different rifles which we'll show you here in a minute. We'll show you what we're gonna shoot at this. Uh, it's just a quality made shield. I wanna say it's about $400. This is the medium. And uh, they also make a bigger one and I think an even smaller one. But this is the medium shield and uh, it is very good quality. So this one, I am sure, is gonna hold up more than this one. This one, BAM Mini Shield. Bad armor, man. I don't know if that's what it stands for. But anyways, this is about 150 bucks off of eBay. It's about a quarter inch thick. It only weighs eight pounds. It comes completely disassembled and unpainted when you get it. So when you get this thing, it just comes in the box. The handle is made out of a cheap plastic. It has very low grade screws that just screw into the plastic. Um, it's supposed to be a level 3A plus. Uh, very handy, they, they wrote that stuff on here in marker. So man, that if that doesn't scream quality, I don't know what does. But yeah, you have to stick the sticker on it, you have to paint it, put the handle on. They'll also tell you on the ad that it doesn't come with a, a forearm strap here, but you can just get some stick on Velcro like Justin and I did and hold your forearm to it. Uh, the pad is the same hard kind of pad, but it's only about a quarter inch as well. And there is no sticky glue or anything when you get it. So we had to hot glue this thing on here just to get it on. So for 150 bucks, you get this thing, which we're gonna see what it's gonna handle today. It says it can handle up to a 44 Magnum, but I think your arm is gonna be broken using this one really quick. So we are gonna try that with both of these. So the first one we're gonna test in this video is the RTS one. The second video will be coming out like a day later after this one. So make sure you check out both of these. These are gonna be really good videos. Let's see what breaks an arm. So we brought out a pretty decent array of firearms. We're gonna start off with the 45 Colt, stepping up to 500 Smith & Wesson. Yes, this is a 500 Smith & Wesson Mosin Nagant. Not quite done with it, but we'll get there. Then SKS and the Bear Creek Arsenal, thanks to those guys, in 308. And then we're gonna finish her off with 15 rounds out of the Thompson submachine gun. So the Thompson shoots a 230 grain full metal jacket. We got 145 grain full metal jacket out of the 308, 123 full metal jacket out of the SKS. And this is a 400 grain 500 Smith & Wesson. And then a 225 grain 45 Colt. So let's get to it. All right, so we're just about to shoot the 45 Colt. And I know what you're thinking. This is a nice shirt. Thanks to my lovely lady, Laura. Thanks for noticing. All right, make sure you like and subscribe, and that way you get notifications for the next video.
sweet. <laughs> that was really cool. It blew the patch off way over here. So Justin hit right on the patch, and it's like 15 yards back towards him, the patch did, but good shot there, buddy. And uh, here's what he did right there, that's it. So, easy peasy. You guys saw on the high speed there, just jiggled, no bulging, nothing. Next round, here we go. All right, so next up we got the Mosin Nagant in 500 Smith & Wesson. I just finished putting this together. Well, it's not finished. I don't even have sights on the thing or a muzzle brake or anything like that, but it does shoot. So I'm gonna point in the general direction, see if I can hit it. And again, make sure you subscribe because this will be a two-part video. Today, we're just gonna be shooting the RTS plates. This thing is kind of a, a thumper. It's a 16 inch barrel and we're gonna be shooting 400 grain, 500 Smith & Wesson. Here we go. Well, that went really high. That was so cool though. Let's check that out. Okay, we can't fault Justin for still hitting the target but not where he wanted to, which was down here. Now, you remember in this video here where we shot the Firebird targets and he missed the soda bottle? Yeah. Well, this one he had no sights on and he just finished that gun, but check this out. Holy cow, that thing hit with some force. I am sure it would have knocked you square on your butt or, or definitely back a little bit come around here so you guys can see the bulge here oh gosh that's a good quarter to quarter inch bulge there but it held up really really good did not break i don't think that would have broke your arm uh but <laughs> we're gonna see on that bam body armor exactly what it's gonna do all right next round here we go so up next is the chinese sks in 762.39 we're about 15 meters back after the damage that that 500 did. I'm wondering if it will stop rifle rounds. But this is where we find out. We do the work so you don't have to. So this one actually does have sights. Ouch! Bayonet got me. We should try the bayonet on the band target. So I should be able to hit it where I'm aiming. Let's see what it does. <laughs> I was like, what, what's coming back here? I was like, oh, I forgot that the brass ejects like crazy out of SKSs. So I went straight up and then landed. Let's check that out. Good shot there, dead center. This was the 45 Colt. Um, so again, this, this armor had taken a hit here and he hit right here and it didn't even, it just a slight ding in it, man. So obviously with the high speed and that, that would not even break your arm. So can stop a 7.62 by 39, that's pretty impressive. Really can't wait to try that BAM body armor, which is, again, a level 3A+. plus. It's markered in there as that, well, we're going to see what it can take, but on to the next round. So thanks to Bear Creek Arsenal for this AR-10 here. It's been working great for us. Absolutely love it. So doing 308, still at 15 meters. Let's see if it'll penetrate. I, I think it actually stopped it. No way. Okay, now I'm surprised. Let's go take a look at that. I I, I thought this was going to blow through. I really did. It stopped the 308 at, what, 15 yards? That is amazing, man. Now, if 
you come back here, again, I'm sure that would knock you on your butt. Um, not sure what it would have done as far as your arm, you know, obviously you have muscles and stuff. We're trying to see what it's gonna take to break the bone. Um, so far, this thing has stopped uh, everything we've thrown at it. I, I think that <laughs> that monster gun, what is that? The 500? The 500. Um, we may have to do that one more time at the end and try to see if Justin can hit center mass and what it'll actually do. Last round, we know it's gonna stop it, but we gotta try it, let's do it. All right, now it's time to get down to business with the uh, automatic hole puncher or the typewriter. I moved a little bit closer just so I can make sure I hit the target. These are pretty easy to control, but just to make sure we get more rounds on target. Here we go. <laughs> That's such a cool noise. Hopefully it's spalling and hit the cameras. All right, that was awesome. We know these are pistol rounds, but it did pretty good. I mean, check out all the lead, the flat lead. Hey, here's one. So the spalling is coming off. Hit right there on the, on the bolt and it still uh, held up good. But yeah, he just peppered it. My, uh, my little bracket there didn't hold up too well, but it dented. Um, Again, that was awesome. So the RTS can really handle some amazing rounds. Oh, here's here's a couple here too, Justin. One, two, three. <laughs> Don't worry about those guys. Don't worry, nothing to see here. Well, that was pretty cool. RTS definitely has it going on with these shields. You know what? We're gonna hit it one more time with the 500. See if Justin can bring that shot down here and see if it actually energy transfer will break those bones so last round here we go all right we're here to revisit the 500 smith and weston i'm gonna see if i can get more center mass again i have no sights kind of winging it at this point <laughs> that blew some wood off of the frame, that's for sure. Man, I wonder where I hit. Let's go check it out. We're going to have to chronograph those rounds, dude, because those do more damage than a 308, and those are some big old fat rounds. Good shot right here. The arm was right behind it. Took care of the rest of this uh, anti-spalling stuff. I'll check that out. There's a piece of jacket just stuck right in it right there. Boy, you wouldn't want that thing to come up and hit you. RTS, guys, really tough stuff, man. That's what it stands for right here, right now. There you go, nothing penetrated that. Uh, I really thought the 308 was gonna go through, uh, if any round, but it didn't. So, man, thanks Chris, uh, Ballistic Dummy Lab, and the girls for sending this arm out, tough stuff. Over here, don't forget guys, this is what we're getting ready to shoot next. Don't forget to look for this video. This is the BAM body armor. I think it is going to make an absolute mess of this arm. So make sure you guys watch for this video. It'll be out within 48 hours of the one you're watching right now. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget, subscribe, hit the like button, and also the notification so you can see the destruction of this arm. Well, thank you guys for watching. We'll be back.